So does it seem like you're always tired or feeling sluggish? Maybe you keep gaining weight no matter how much you diet or exercise. If this sounds like you, you could have a thyroid condition. In fact, according to the American Academy of Clinical Endocrinologists, as many as 13 million Americans may have undiagnosed thyroid problems. Here to talk about this is Dr. Andre Garabedian of the Garabedian Clinic in affiliation with the Holtorf Medical Group and the King of Prussia. Doc, always nice to see you. Nice see you too. You're first things first, plain and simple, where is the thyroid and what is it designed to do? Well, thyroid is a gland that exists in the front part of the neck. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's designed to produce a, the thyroid hormone, which is T4, thyroxin, uh, which I call the gas pedal of the body. You know, okay. It is what creates energy in every tissue in our body from hair to toenails. It's responsible to activate it, and it's responsible for metabolism. Now, when you have a condition, a thyroid condition, I've heard uh, hyper and hypo, correct? It's very the true. Well, they are diametrically opposed conditions. Okay. Hyper meaning excessive amount of thyroid hormone. It is not the common form of thyroid problem, but it does exist. It has some issues with being an autoimmune illness, some other conditions that cause it, but frequently it is a hypothyroidism, meaning mm -hmm less or inadequate amounts of thyroid hormone produced by the gland. How are things diagnosed? How is it diagnosed if you well, have an issue? There are uh, traditional testing that is done for thyroid condition. You usually measure the amount of T4, which is a thyroid hormone, and there is another uh, hormone that is producing or stimulates the production of that, which is TSH. Uh, traditionally, physicians do these two tests if somebody is having an issue with thyroid problems. Mm -hmm. And if the numbers come within the range or thereabouts, they might be told it's normal, there's nothing wrong with you, or maybe it's borderline and you don't need treatment. Although those tests are not really adequate enough to tell us if the thyroid is truly functioning or not because the thyroid hormone T4 is not an active huh. hormone. And thus, to penetrate in the tissues, we should test for other things, which traditionally we don't. Just about out of time, what if you're a woman? Some of the women in the building may want to know, if you're going through menopause and you're having some issues, you're gaining weight, how do you know if you do or do not have a thyroid issue? Well, or? exactly to test for the thyroid would be the best thing. Okay. And if uh, their doctors knows about testing for those tests that we just mentioned, right. they'll probably know if they do or not have a low thyroid, which, by the way, is low metabolism, which, by the way, is gaining weight and inability to lose weight. So gotcha. it's a major problem for them. Good stuff, good stuff. Always a pleasure to see you, Dr. G. Appreciate it so much. For more on thyroid issues, much more on thyroid issues, and Dr. Garabedian's whole tour of medical center, just go to cbsphilly.com and click on Talk Philly. Katie's forecast and the acapella group straight, no chaser, coming up next.